Hi there! Today, we're going to talk about a fun little adventure story that has magic, fairies, and an old guy who likes to eat cherries with the pits. We're talking about Cryptofauna by Patrick Canning. We're doing it right now. Welcome to Matt Reviews Books, and I am Matt, and I am the owner of this here establishment. This is a book review channel dedicated mostly to older books. I get asked to review somebody's book, and so I do, if it's the right kind of book, like today. Today I'm reviewing Cryptofauna by Patrick Canning. We start off with Jim. Jim is the custodian in a uh, senior, it's a combination of senior care and psychiatric facility. He lives at the sanitarium old folks home uh, in this small little room that he really doesn't seem like he has too much ambition to go anywhere else or do anything else. Jim has just had enough of life. He's had enough of his life He's had enough of everybody else's life, and he plans to commit suicide. He's going to swallow some pills uh, and, and go to sleep. He's going to swallow some pills, he has some root beer, and he's, he's planned it out to be as thoughtful to the people who find him as he can. However, before he gets to commit suicide, we are introduced to Oz. Ozymandias! who is uh, one of the residents of this uh, facility. And this is a gentleman who basically spends his days in nothing but bathrobe, pair of socks, and he likes to, he is the guy who likes to chew uh, the pits as part of eating cherries. And he busts down the door and he saves Jim. And there, he introduces him to Cryptofauna. That's what he does. Cryptofauna, which is a game it's like a real life game. A little bit like LARP. LARP, live action role play, which is essentially role playing game, but with more choreographed fighting and fantastic elements like that. Not to be confused with the Society for Creative Anachronism, which is based on research of historic uh, medieval life and recreating and, and learning that, as opposed to just the armor and fighting. Though, there is that. A little context here, which you have to describe what Cryptofauna is. It is a game, but it is a real life game where actions have consequences, and you're not just working for a brass ring, you're actually working to change events uh, in different ways around the world. You travel, with companions. There is a mentor, someone who's experienced and knows the game, and trains a disciple. So in this case, Ozymandias, Oz, is a mentor. Jim is the disciple. And we begin to assemble the companions who are, if you've ever played role-playing games, these are your, this is your party, your adventuring party. And you get different abilities from time to time or different uh, access to different items that you can use to go on these different quests. It is, however, not fantasy all the time, but rather set in the modern world. So it is uh, kind of like urban fantasy. In the game, there's also two opposing forces. So there's your group your companions, and then there's another one with, a, uh, and they're called rivalries. And one works against the other for their plans. Jim is generally a decent sort of human being, so he tries to do decent sort of things. In contrast to 
uh, the the rivals Nero and Boyd, and Boyd is a full blown psychotic. He likes to kill things, you know. He's the pull wings off of flies and set fire to kittens kind of guy. In fact, he is so nasty. Boyd is so bad that even Nero, who's been around for several hundreds of years, doesn't like him and he wants to get rid of him. And as much as I don't really like Nero so much, but that's the point, but that's fine because that's just, I think that's very solid writing that even I can sympathize with nominally the antagonist. So there's that. The, some of the fairies are nasty. Like they're just vicious. But again, they exist on a spectrum of personalities and behaviors just like human beings do. So, you know, there's always going to be the uh, road rage fairy, I guess, because there's the road rage human beings out there. Just as important as the suspense and the tension and the, the thrills of the adventure, uh, it's funny. It's laugh out loud funny. There's there's humor that uh, surprised me. It's there's a turns of phrase. There's an attitude. The attitudes the attitudes of the characters can be very snarky, including the old guys, the old people. It's a fun ride. It was fantastic. I'm glad I took the chance uh, on it because it is a good book. It's a good read, and it is a fun adventure and funny story so i think you as well should take a chance i think you should go forth and read it no really go go read the book it's it's worth your time and it's worth your money and with that i will say that's it for me we're gonna call it a day and if you like this give it a thumbs up i hope you go find um patrick's book and give it a read. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Let me know uh, something that you've read that you liked that's kind of like urban fantasy. But if there's something else, um, let me know. I'd kind of like I'd like to check it out. I'll just put it on on my ever uh, growing and ever existing to be read pile. Uh, and with that. Well, you know, I will see you next time.